Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well today. So in today's video, I will be reviewing Ohuhu's huge poly gel kit. This is the first time that I work with this company, but what caught my attention is that they have mood changing poly gel colors that I can't wait to try out. And I'm going to be trying them out for the first time in this video. So if you guys wanna see what I do with the products, what they look like, and you wanna hear what I have to say about them, then please keep on watching. Mwah. The first thing I want to do is show you the packaging of this poly gel kit, which is composed of 12 colors. When opening the box, we find the instruction manual with all the specifications and information of the company, plus all the materials necessary to make a complete set of poly gel. In this little bottle, we find the slip solution to handle the poly gel, and next to it, we find the box with dual forms of different sizes. In this kit, we also find cuticle nippers and a nail clipper, which are tools that I commonly use to prep the natural nails. Next to it, we find this tool, which is two-in-one, since it is composed of a brush to mold the poly gel on one end and a spatula to cut and grab the poly gel on the other. There is also a hint file, which is used to prep the natural nails and to file and shape the poly gel after having applied the product. This included tool is ideal for pushing back the cuticle and for removing dead skin and dirt from the nails before applying poly gel. You guys know that I love Blink, so when I saw these glitters, I got super excited. They're so beautiful, especially the iridescent ones. Lastly, as I mentioned, there are 12 colors of poly gel, a base, and a gel top coat. I'm going to take out the poly gels and I'm going to show you the colors one by one so that you have a clearer idea of what they look like. I'm going to start with the color CL2, which is clear. This color is WH2, which is a soft white. P3 is a translucent pink. P9 is also a pink, but between a pastel pink and a bubblegum pink. P7 is a lilac color. N4 is a light nude color. N7 is a nude color, a little bit darker than the previous one. BR3, I would say, is like a pastel chocolate, so to speak. CH12 is a fuchsia when the hands are cold and white when the hands are hot. CH11 is red when cold and black when hot. CH8 is light orange when cold and black when hot. And finally, CH9 is a salmon color while cold and white when hot. Before starting this video, I prepped my natural nails, but I'm going to apply a base coat to be able to apply the poly gel. This layer is necessary for the poly gel to adhere to the natural nail and there is no need to apply a thick layer, a thin layer will do the job. And I am just going to apply base on all the nails and then I am going to cure under the lamp for 30 seconds. It is very important to seal the sides and the cuticle area well without touching the skin to avoid lifting, so I take my time to make sure that everything is well done. After curing, I am going to use a little bit of slip solution and placing it in a small container and I am going to use the color CH9, which is one of my favorites from this kit. Before using the spatula, I always introduce it in the liquid so that it is easier to transfer the poly gel from the spatula to the dual forms. I'm going to start by molding the product into the dual form of the pinky nail, as you guys can see on screen. This is the only nail of all, which I am not going to reinforce at the apex since I think that the amount of poly gel that I grabbed is perfect for the size of the nail. After molding the product in a dual form, I am going to bring it to the nail as usual and I am going to cure each nail under the lamp for 15 seconds individually. I am going to apply an extension of the same poly gel in the middle fingernail as well. I usually like simple designs with a touch of glitter, so this set is a literal representation of my personality. This manicure, however, is going to have a very special touch since I chose one of the poly gels that change color according to the temperature. I just couldn't hold my curiosity and I had to try one out. The two shades this poly gel changes to are super cute, so I was eager to see the final result. 
Back to the topic, in this mold, as I mentioned previously, I am going to reinforce the apex and then I am going to apply the product on the nail and I am going to cure under the lamp for 15 seconds once again. As I have shown you guys in other videos, before curing, I am going to make sure that the bottom and the sides are well sealed. Okay, so continuing, I am going to repeat the same process on the index fingernail. Since part of my hand was warm, the pinky nail and the middle nail turned white, so here you can see the difference between the two colors to which the poly gel changes. I am also going to reinforce this apex and then I am going to apply the dual form on the nail, making sure that it is well sealed before curing it under the lamp for 15 seconds. On the thumbnail, I am going to repeat exactly the same process and after making sure that everything is fine, I am going to cure all the nails under the lamp for 60 seconds. To accentuate the ring fingernail, I am going to use the silver iridescent glitter that comes in the kit and I am going to mix it with a little bit of clear poly gel. To mix these two products, I am going to apply the poly gel on a plate and I am going to apply the glitter on top and with the same spatula that I have been using, I am going to mix them very well as you guys can see on screen. After mixing the product, I am going to mold it in the dual form, and on this nail, I am not going to be reinforcing the apex either, as I think I mixed enough product to build the nail correctly. After curing, I am going to remove the dual forms, I am going to remove the sticky layer of poly gel using 99% alcohol in a small piece of paper towel, and then I am going to remove the excess poly gel with my e-file machine in a medium carbide bit, and I am going to shape the nails using my hand file. After filing the nails and removing the excess dust, I am going to clean them once more with a piece of paper towel and 99% alcohol, and I am going to apply a layer of top coat on all the nails except the index fingernail for now because I am going to be applying crystals. The gel top coat that I am going to be using is the same one that comes in the kit that I showed you guys at the beginning of this video. In the description box, I am going to leave all the details of the products, so let me know in the comment section if you guys decide to try them out. Thank you. 
After applying the gel top coat and after curing, I am going to apply Swarovski crystals near the cuticle area of my index fingernail. I am going to use different sizes and I am going to concentrate the crystals in the corner creating a sort of half moon. After applying the crystals, I am going to apply gel top coat on the nail around the crystals only to prevent them from losing their cuts and their shine. I am going to cure again under the lamp for 60 seconds. And my loves, this is the final product. I hope you guys like this video with super unique poly gels that change colors. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and click on the notification bell so that you can be up to date with all my content. I love you all very much. See you in the next video. May God bless you. Mwah.